All right, what's up, y'all? It's Liquor Fan here. And in today's video, we are going to go over every center build that there is to make in 2K18. Now, really quick, like I have in every video I did before this, all four of them, in the point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, all that stuff, go check out Michael's Twitter, at Duncan Shone, all right? Like I said, he has a dude with 244 followers. He, you know, he's from Hamburg, uh, Hamburg Germany. And anyway, <laughs> I mean... I've already I've already shouted about like damn near four times, but I appreciate what he did for the community and stuff like that. He put together this whole chart for everybody. So anyway, he's clutch for this. You guys go show him some love. Anyway, let's get right into this list. So we'll take it from the top down. So post scoring. Now this is interesting because um it depends on the rating. Because if you lose something for doing shot creator, then it might suck, but like if your if your post ratings don't go down very much, doing shot creator might be a, a low key decent move. Um, you'll get you probably won't have hustle rebounder or stuff like that. You know what I mean? But you might be able to like utilize those abilities. It's just an interesting build. I wouldn't really recommend it, but it does seem it does seem kind of weird that you know a shot creator with post score has three Hall of Fame badges. Um, something that's also very interesting is rebounding with post scoring. It gives you, you know, all your rebounding traits except except hustle rebounder and drop stepper and all the post moves, which to be honest, other than brick wall, both these badges aren't very useful. Um maybe post scoring and okay, so post scoring and rebounding isn't any different. So the only way to have hustle rebounder, as I can see it, is to do rebounding and rebounding. Now I think if you do rebounding with driving and finishing, yeah. So this yo this might be the wave right here. This right here might be the wave. Rebounding with driving and finishing. You get putback king, hustle rebounder, probably posterizer, lob city finisher, brick wall, bruiser, lo <laughs> my bad, lob city finisher again. Um, but as you can see right here, the total number of badges, uh, the most badges you can have, I think is post scoring with three point shooting. Uh, tied for second, I think is rebounding with three point shooting. But yeah, other than that, you have 24 with three-point shooting and driving and finishing uh you have the least i think is right here post scoring and rebounding has the least at 19 or actually i bad. rebounding and rebounding actually has the least at 18 so that's pretty interesting um driving and finishing with driving and finishing obviously is just athletic athletic finisher from last year however you have relentless finisher now instead of how last year you had teardropper and random stuff like that that didn't <laughs> that wasn't necessary um he didn't show every de defending one as well as really he didn't show at every driving and finishing or three-point shooting combo but hey like i said in my previous videos it, it'd be hard there's 198 combos i think was said it'd be hard to do every single one of them so what what michael has done here is tremendous so go sh go, go show him some love man but anyway uh let's finish this up real quick so rebounding and defending might be decent too. You have, but like I said, man, the only way to get hustle rebounder is rebounding and rebounding or rebounding and driving and finishing. So this, I think this and this will be the clutch ones. So that's how I see it. Maybe driving and finishing along with rebounding has it, but post scoring along with rebounding does not have hustle fame. <laughs> I always say that. Hall of Fame hustle rebounder is such a tongue twister. <laughs> I swear to God. But anyway, um, if you're going to do a post score, probably just go post scoring with post scoring. You get all your badges. You get to, you know, you get to utilize what you're good at and stuff like that. I wouldn't do post scoring and rebounding just because you don't have any of your scoring options on Hall of Fame. You know what I mean? You don't have drop stepper, post spin technician, and up and, up and under specialist on Hall of Fame. That seems like you're kind of limiting yourself. And then there'd be no point in doing the passing and ball handling one. There'd be no point in doing the driving and finishing. Uh, it's just... I think if you're gonna make a center this year, it should definitely be driving and it should definitely be rebounding plus driving and finishing. That's that's what I think because you can be useful with a pick and roll. You probably got pick and roller, brick wall, uh, lob city finisher, posterizer, bruiser, all that stuff, along with putback king, hall of fame, and hall of fame and hall of fame hustle rebound as well. And then like I said, 20 total badges, not bad. Um, if you do the rebounding and rebounding, you have 18 total badges, which isn't great, but Again, you have five Hall of Fames. So what do you get? What do you get differently for here? You get Brick Wall Hall of Fame. 
Bruiser Hall of Fame, and I think Breakstarter Hall of Fame. That's up to you if it's worth it, man. I think Gold Brick Wall will do the job, especially if you're able to roll to the rim really well. This might be the wave right here. Rebounding and driving and finishing combo. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out any of the other four that I did. Share this with your friends, all that stuff. Um, help them figure out what they want to do for their builds. And if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. If you guys want to go show Michael some love, I would appreciate it as well. Tell him Laker fans sent you. But anyway, other than that, like I said, feel free to subscribe if you're new. Hit the like if you enjoyed and or if it helped you. But other than that, hope you enjoyed and take it easy, man. Peace.